Hey, what's up, guys? This is Jay Blongs. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a multi channel plugin using Vienna Ensemble Pro. All right, let's get right to it. So, we're going to open up a plugin, which will be Vienna Ensemble Pro. All right, that should give you this window right here. And now we're going to build an instance to connect to. So, we're going to go to be an ensemble itself, which should be running. And we're going to add an instance. We're going to call it contact. All right. Now in this instance, we're going to go back to Ableton Live. We're going to choose connect. We'll see it here. Boom. Connected. So now it is set to send and receive MIDI from this instance here. So now we're going to create the plugin. Contact five in this case. Uh, you'll notice here that I already have 16 channels as my default. You can create your 16 channels blank here in order to have your outputs properly arranged. You come over here to your output panel and you're going to select a batch function and the first option in there, which is basically to create an individual channel for MIDI and audio for each instrument in here. All right. So once you get that together, now it's just a matter of creating your multi-channel wire. Now, though there are 16 instruments here, you're going to have to create the 16 placeholders in here, which will be inputs, as well as your 16 external instruments in Ableton Live, which we'll start with that first. So let's go to our devices uh, from the instruments menu. We're going to have to create an external instrument. Now for each extra channel you want, you're going to need an external instrument. So the original channel with Vienna running, uh, that's going to be channel one for the MIDI and output one and two. So from then on, each external instrument will be channel two MIDI or output three and four and so on so for this example i'm just going to create three more external instruments and the first we're going to send to be an ensemble channel two output three and four all right for the next one we're going to be an ensemble which is that same first plugin we created uh, five, uh channel three output five and six for the next one we'll go via an ensemble channel four output seven and eight now it is very customary for me and able to live to create a group track from this so that way it's always organized and i'll call this for the time being con five all right. So now our next step is to create the audio channels that will receive the audio from contact and send it to these external instruments. All right. So we're going to come in here and create input tracks. All right. So that's one, two, three input tracks, which represent two, three, and four from contact itself. All right. So we're going to set here input will be contact five. See this last number here representing two? That's the MIDI channel or the audio channel, sorry, the audio output channel. So for this, we're going to set three. And for the next one, we're going to set four. So this is instrument two, instrument three, and instrument four inside of contact. As far as the output, I tend not to use a master output so we're going to end up removing that so we want three and four here five and six here just like we did in ableton seven and eight and of course the contact plug-in channel itself is one and two i tend to remove the master output bus okay so right here we pretty much got everything set so all there is to do now is to go into 
contact itself and let's open up some sounds uh, something that's quick loading so in this instance we're going to open up a couple pianos uh, maybe I'll open different instruments so we can better differentiate the channels okay horns uh, guitar and let's get some strings all right so we populated the four channels you notice that they each have their own output and MIDI channel so now when we go into Ableton Live the first channel Which you can tell is channel one the piano we opened uh, the next channel third channel and the fourth channel So as you see, it's pretty simple to set up Vienna Ensemble as a multi-channel plugin. The reason why I use Vienna Ensemble, as I've said in previous videos, is that it exponentially increases performance and stability of your plugins. If you needed more channels, you know how to just keep going with the external instruments in Ableton Live as well as the input channels in contact followed by the proper routing. Now this works the same in any other door. I do the same thing in Logic. I do the same thing in Pro Tools. It's just a matter of understanding how your door routes audio and MIDI. And I almost forgot that you can recall these settings totally. All right, so this Contact 5 multi-channel plugin we've created, I can create a destination to save it. So in here, I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it test multi just to show you guys what I do here so I've created this I have instruments loaded but usually I would like to have one blank and I just drag the group track into this folder and boom it's there so now any day I come into a session and I say hey you know what I like that preset I did last time boom that's it it's open right there. Now, here's another important part about it being Ensemble Pro. This little beacon right here. Normally, when you open up an instance, that's going to be around, all right, which is a preserved instance. Um, you should read about this in your manual. But in any case, I like to leave this off once I've created my plugin preset and I have connected it. Connecting mean is connected to one of these it's actually being used I turn it off the reason is because if I close a plug in here I want it to close the actual instance so here you're looking at being an ensemble running uh, Arturia's analog laboratory which is right here inside of Ableton Live now because it's not preserved I hit that delete button and the plugin closes gone all right you may want to keep yours open in ram but i like to preserve ram where possible so thus i would close it all right now as you see i've have tons of plugins running in vn ensemble doing the same thing i've demonstrated with contact all right i've geist uh contact lounge lizard east west play omnisphere all which run as a multi-channel plugin from one instance of each plugin. Okay, you can go as much as into creating total mixes. As you see here, I have a drum selection. So I'm going to open this up, kind of show you what's going on in here. Okay, this is a drum kit. Built within contact. 
All right, this is the instance of the drums. Now, if you notice, I have every hit separate, as well as the mics. And for each channel, I have a separate type of EQ going on. So this is another reason why I use VN Ensemble, because to do this much routing and have separate plugins for each channel inside of a door within itself will crunch the door. Ableton Live is likely to crash. Pro Tools will give you the buffer error and Logic will just start acting crazy. So I hope you guys got a lot of information from this video. Enjoy.